Earlier this year, my husband and I plus a friend of mine went to Chicago to mainly do four things. First was to go to Uniqlo, second was to attend the Genshin concert, third was journaling in cafes, and fourth was to go to Atlas Stationers. As soon as I got into the airport, I decided to already collect ephemera for my traveler's notebook. This included the United bag tags and the boarding pass. The flight that we had was with the United Airlines and I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan as it was pretty bumpy but that could be just that airplane. Upon arrival to Chicago, it was really snowing. I haven't really had a whole lot of experience with snow, so I was a little bit excited seeing it. Upon arriving in Chicago, we decided to take the train, which is the blue line going to downtown, and I have to admit that I wasn't a huge fan of it because it was also pretty bumpy and it felt a little bit dangerous I guess to me but anyway we arrived to our hotel safely and I proceeded to collect all of my other ephemera including that train ticket the next day we decided to go to the goddess and the baker this is one of the cafes we really enjoyed staying at I like the turquoise black and white theme the atmosphere was great and the food was great I ordered a matcha strawberry latte while my husband and my friend ordered their hot drinks. We decided to stay there for about two hours. My husband and I were journaling because we always like going to cafes whether it is near our home or somewhere else. During our travels, we like being able to stay there and just journal. I also try to make sure that I keep my ephemera from that cafe. After that, we decided to go walk around the streets of Chicago for a little bit and decided to go to Uniqlo because we are all fans of Uniqlo. When my husband and I moved to Nashville, they did not have it. So when we went to Chicago, we were super excited to go in and shop. After all of that, we decided to go for dinner and wait until the Genshin concert. The one we attended was at 7.30 p.m. and it was located at the Chicago Symphony Hall. The venue was really pretty and I was super happy that I was able to attend the concert as I'm a big fan of the music. During the concert, they gave us a physical commemorative ticket which is one of the best ephemeras or the prettiest ephemera that I could ever collect for my trip. I wish I can share with you the music that I have heard that day during the concert, but I am afraid that I'll get a copyright strike. So these are just some of the clips that I was able to take during the concert. On our last day, before we went to the airport, my husband and I went to Atlas Stationers and got ourselves a few things before leaving Chicago. We are both fans of inks, fountain pens, and stationery, so we were both excited. My husband bought a Diplomat Nexus and I got myself a few washi tapes and ferris wheel press blushing mushroom i wanted to get more but i was saving up for something else in the future so i kept my spending below 40 dollars atlas also had a testing table where you can try out pens and write it on any of the notebooks they have laid out there Aside from the inks and fountain pens, they also had brush pens, which I liked, and some notebooks, letter sets, and whatnot. After we went to Atlas, we decided to take a photo in front of the store with our purchases. Going home, we took the train again, and yeah, that concludes our trip. Thank you for watching.
If you're interested in knowing more about my travel process, my whole documentation on the Traveler's Notebook, feel free to click this video.